There I am. Sorry for the late start. Once again, YouTube was cucking me, saying the thumbnail I always use is too large. And I had to go to a different version of the video to post that thumbnail. And then it just, it just wouldn't go live. It's constant. A bunch of other things happened today that contributed contributed to me being a little late but be fine anyway we're back here again with no camera controls minecraft and hopefully i beat the fucking nether fortress i hopefully i get my nether wither skulls after i lost everything last time so um so i still need to get um emeralds and I didn't really play off stream I just kind of got to this location but I just need to chop this wood for charcoal and then we can get moving with that good old capitalism um, and then return to the nether and hopefully figure out something I can do because the main problem is that all of the blazes are in boats. Really, the problem is just that there are blazes. Um, nothing else really poses that big of a threat, except zombie pigmen. I just learned that I can't hit them. Because if something gets behind me, I'm basically doomed. Um, I won't be so naive this time, because last time I thought I was getting suffocated when I was really getting mauled by a... <sighs> I don't actually know if it's sentient, but I got mauled by the pigmen, and then I lost all of my stuff because apparently I was there for longer than five minutes, and the despawn timer activated, or the despawn timer ended. It's very interesting. Um, really didn't feel like I was loading that spot for longer than five minutes. So I would like at least four stacks of this. If I can, I might not be able to. But, yeah, hopefully I fucking get done with that today. Um. And I think I have some sand. I might need to get more sand for the glass that I'm going to sell to the cartographer. But I do already have the looting three swords, so I won't have to work to get those. Um, and I have some armor already enchanted. Cool. Is this... Am I fucked here? No, I'm not. I was just thinking, I'm probably going to end up in a, uh, a dark hole. But thankfully I can get out. Really, the chasms aren't that big of a deal anymore, since I know I can make ladders out of there, and usually place them to some success. Um, as long as there's not too big of an overhang, I should never really get soft locks down there. If I fall if I fall in like a one by one by two deep hole, then I'm kind of fucked if I don't have any ladders. Maybe. No, I can think of a way to get out of that. I just have to tunnel a tiny bit. Well, I'd still need ladders, but I need somewhere to place the ladders. Okay, three stacks. Like right there, if I was inside there and there wasn't this um, little entrance or whatever right here to the left, I would be stuck in there. Because if there's an overhang, I can't get over the overhang.
But this is actually the same dark forest I was in uh, before on the last stream. It's pretty easy to find again. I just had to go toward the nether portal and it's along the way. But who knows, maybe I'll be trying to get Wither Skulls for fucking ever. What I do know is Blaze Rods are pretty easy to get. I just wish... Honestly, maybe I should go get the Blaze Rods I need. Like an overage of them. More than I need. Then destroy the Blaze Spawners. Just so I don't have to deal with them. And then I would only have to deal with zombie pigmen, magma cubes, and the, uh, why am I not picking these up? And the wither skeletons. That's probably what I'll do, because I just need to make sure I get those blaze rods out of there. So I should maybe get, like, 40, which won't take that long, because I got, like, 25 pretty quickly with that looting 3. I just didn't get them out of there, because I... I should have, I, what I should have done is put them in the chest. That was the least I could have done, but no. Gotta change this layout a little. Okay. Oh. This is fine. So once again, music is just platinum albums, albums that have reached platinum status, which is a lot of music I haven't necessarily heard because I don't listen to popular music. And while the music is good, I am not I am not bopping, I'm not slapping to any of these tunes yet. Uh, I listened to two more Pearl album. Pearl, Pearl Jam albums, and uh, they were not grooving with me. But according to Wikipedia, they didn't really groove with the band either. Um, but I'm going through all of Pearl Jam as well. That's more on my own time. But if I run out of recommendations or this current list, which I still have more albums to put on here, but not too many, um... I was going to start looking through certain genres and testing those out, such as Future Bass, maybe a genre I might be interested in, but I was just going to go through some highly rated playlists of those and figure out if I like any of those genres, because I am looking for... Really what I want is more artcore, but at a better, higher quality level, because the artcore that I've been listening to, most of it is pretty mediocre. It's not like necessarily bad, but it's like repetitive and it's not the best. Okay, I should probably go back now. Um, actually, I should really go back so I can put a bed down so I don't have to wait a whole night to get back into the village. I do not have a bed. Cool. I didn't bring shears with me. I swore I brought shears with me. Where the fuck am I? How did that even happen? What is this gigantic tree behind me? I do not want to be stuck in here. Now what the fuck is attacking me? Stop. Oh my gosh. Don't let me... Don't... Fucking kill me in here. It's a skeleton. Get your ass over here. Cool. Might die. <sighs> Fucking son of a bitch. What is this? Seven, seven, six, four, one, two, zero. Cool. Because a very large tree was in the way. 
Cool, and the village is in danger. Just how I like it. That guy on the left is stuck there for eternity. He will never get out, and I can't save him. Everything's gone to shit. There's only one boat here that I can't get into. Everything's going wrong at the very start of the stream. Get... Come on. What, what a fucking catastrophe. So I, I have decided that I need to start taking better notes. It's gonna help me make videos way faster. So I might be writing a lot more. But this will be immensely helpful. But as usual, I've been working more on the Code Vein video. It's coming in along. Well, going through the footage is coming along. I am almost all the way through the footage. And after that, I will edit the script, make it good, and then I will record the script. Hey, Penguin. Um, and then once the script is recorded, I can start actually editing the video, and it should be a rather quick edit, because unfortunately I don't have any extraordinarily cool ideas, but usually as I go on editing I get more ideas. It still should be a rather good video though. Oh, please. What, what is... What, where am I heading to? 776. So, um, my brother was supposed to watch my uh, parents' dogs today. But he fucking said, Nope, I'm going to a party. So once again, I will have to keep taking care of my dogs, unfortunately, and leaving the stream. But, as you can see, my house did not burn down. Um, we actually went out yesterday uh, on bikes and went to go see where the fire was. And we saw no trace of fire. There were a lot of police um, the day before, but I don't know why the... Uh, I don't I don't know where the fire was. I don't know if people were lying to me or what, but there was... Could not find the fire or any trace of it. Saw no burnt trees, saw the building that was supposedly on fire looks perfect. Show us the doggos. Um, they are both upstairs, I think, right now. I, I did, well, I guess that didn't matter, because last time I took her for a W-A-L-K, which if I say out loud, she will track me down and harass me. Um, and then I took them for a golf cart R-I-D-E, and then I, uh, did I write down the wrong fucking coordinates? What was this coordinate? 4120. Um, and I played fetch with her, and she still harassed me. Oh, I'm, I went deep in here. Um, 
Hopefully there's nothing in here that spawned. No hostiles. What the fuck? I went this deep in the forest? Why? How did that happen? This, it makes sense if it's over this hill. I was at 76. This way? There we go. Okay. <sighs> but I think both my dogs are upstairs. Foiled again by architecture. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. But um, I have decided that I will no longer, unless it's something I can multitask, I'll no longer be doing stuff off stream. Because I realized... I think it's more important to spend that time doing editing instead. Like, instead of six hours of doing something dumb on Minecraft, I could have spent that six hours um, could have spent that time working on the video. And then I could have spent the time switching out the lecterns on stream. I could have told stories or done an AMA Get me out of this fucking hell. How many of these? I, I have enough. Thought I had pants, but apparently I don't. Get me. Get me out of here. But I have accelerated my process <sighs> might not be fucked here I was not fucked I was close to fucked Get me out of this. I can't believe I went this deep in the forest. I don't recall pressing forward that much. Oh my gosh, I almost fell right back in there. Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. Am I out? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Hold on. Wait, what is... Oh, that's just a giant fountain. It's like, what's all that water over there? Do not recall seeing these horses here. There's my boat. Okay. Now, I may or may not have sand. I can't remember if I got sand. I think I may have gotten sand. Um, which will be nice. I'm going to... Here. But yeah, I was looking at Yimfa, or whatever that man's name is called. Y-M-F-A-H. He makes... Dark Souls videos, and they're more meme-y than, than mine. I try not to do, really, memes. Um, because memes, as Nathaniel Bandy once said, memes kind of get outdated pretty quickly. So I try not to put that many memes in my videos. Um, unless I think they will hold the test of time. But uh, he put up a video of how he makes videos... And I never looked up, like, how to make, really, a video like I do. Um, just bits and pieces from everything and just kind of the style I wanted. And he makes his videos exactly the way I do. <laughs> like, literally 
so close. So basically, he starts with um, starts with gathering ideas for the video. The only thing that he does that I don't do. Well, actually, I don't know how I would do that, so never mind. But he has he has like a, more of a, t a timeline of stuff he wants to get done, I think. Or like a story he wants to write. Whereas I don't know what story I want to write until after everything's done. Because who knows what the story will be. I don't go out planning to fulfill a certain narrative with my stream or a ch video, challenge video, until after I've beaten the challenge or lost the challenge. Um, that kind of colors the whole story I'm trying to tell. But he also, like, plans stuff out and schedules it. He's like, I want this done by this day. I think he, I saw that. He was a little unclear. Um, which, I think he does this more for a living, which I don't. Um, especially since I don't make money from this. So he, he kind of puts himself more on a schedule where I can't really do that. Um, I just try to do a minimum amount of work each day. And try not to spend too long perfectionizing stuff. But then he moves on to getting the gameplay footage, and he sets... He, I don't think he streams, but he has a mic, and he may add, like, notes, or he might say what he's doing, or, oh, do this here, which is what I did for the Smash Bros. video. But it ended up not being that great of a model for me, and... Um, for streaming, you know, I talk significantly more than is necessary for a video. Um, so that the audio from this, like what I'm talking about right now, is not useful to the video. <laughs> um, so the audio part during the recording is not that helpful to me. Um, there's a lot of checks he does, and they're the same checks I do, audio checks and all this other stuff. Which reminds me, the... Minecraft audio is a bit different uh, right now, so I hope it's not too loud or anything. I tried to adjust it to be the same, but um, I didn't really have time to do a thorough check. But anyway, then he goes through the footage, like that is the step I'm going through right now. Um, but he takes be he takes better notes than I do, and he kind of knows where. He in the footage he wants. Maybe I should have like a clock here and I can say, oh, at this timestamp, that's when I do this. So I guess I could do that, but um, I get to this bed. Um, so that's the one thing I'm gonna try and improve on is take better notes. Um, if I had like a clock here, like a stopwatch, I could really do it better. But um, then he goes through and he does the same thing I do, where you basically cut out what you think you want, and you don't have to be that exact, because um, you can, with what I have, you can adjust it later. Then you record the, the audio, and he does the exact same thing I do to record audio. He does all this on Sony Vegas, though, where I do it on DaVinci Resolve, just because DaVinci Resolve is free. Um... He also uses for a lot of his, uh, he will cut out, like, his Dark Souls 3 character and put it, put it places, so basically he has a Dark Souls 3 character on a green screen. Um, since I play multiple games, that's not that useful for me, and, um, I'd have to download a whole program and I'd have to get additional footage, so that's kind of his own thing. Um, I can sort of do that, just not as cleanly. I mean, I can rotoscope stuff out, which means I cut it out of the actual game, where he's actually replacing all the textures but his character with a green screen. Um, which is, I, I always wondered how he was doing that so cleanly, and now it makes a lot of sense. Because rotoscoping is not very clean. Um, if you want to make it extremely clean, it takes a fuck ton of time. Um, also, you'd have to have, like, perfect big bit rate. Uh, you'd have to have really high quality to get the rotoscoping good. So he overcomes that by using this program, um, the, which is probably free, but it changes all the textures in Dark Souls to green, so he just green screens stuff. 
Um, which, cool. Um, I don't, I play multiple games, so that's not really helpful for me. And it, um, just with the setup I have now, it would be extremely tedious to set that up. Um, cause I'd have to go into boot camp to get that footage. So, um, not the best option for me. Anyway, um, he also, he selects, so he gets music from the internet. And I have been cautious of doing that because I've already gotten a copyright strike for my own cover of a song. <sighs> but something he does that I don't do, which I'm going to start doing, but it doesn't matter because I can't monetize anyway, but it might still work for like copyright strikes or something. But he puts the video on unlisted, waits a couple days and see if it gets copyright striked. And I think... I, I'm not really sure why that works, because if it's unlisted, how are things seeing it? Um, but anyway, I'm going to look more into that and try doing that, because that's actually a really good check. Um, this, this is actually not what I wanted to do. I wanted to cook these boys. There we go. Another thing he does is he sends the video before he puts it out. He sends the video to a bunch of his friends and they all find the stupid mistakes uh, we inevitably make, which is something I already do, do. I send my video out to around 10 people and have them check for mistakes, usually in tears. So I'll send it out to some people who don't know anything about the game. And then I'll send it out to people that know a lot about the game and pay a lot of close attention to the video and are able to find all the very key or small details. And then I send it back out to more people that don't really play the game. Um, and that is, I don't know if he really goes in that strategy, but he has a lot of people look at the video. Um, he mixes audio like I do, um, mixes music like I do. He mixes, he kind of, he lines stuff up with beats which is something I do ex intensely, is lining comedic effects or anything up with uh, beats and music, which is probably one of my favorite things about video editing. Um, I think it's just, it makes a big difference in videos for me when stuff is timed perfectly. Um, so he does that. Um, he didn't really talk about too much of like the effects he uses or anything. Um, which, like, if I was talking about that, I don't know how I would do that, because I almost do new effects every time I run, I do the, uh, make a video, because I'm always wanting to learn new things. Um, okay, so that has eight now. Um, but yeah, like, literally, like, everything's the same, and I basically, I actually outpace him. I was looking at some of the stuff, like how long it takes him to do stuff, and I'm actually faster than him in some respects. Uh, mostly with going through footage and whatnot, but he's using a seventh of the length of footage, because his playthroughs are, or at least the one he was doing there, was a, uh, an 11 hour playthrough, whereas mine, almost all of them have been around 70 hours. So I'm working with a lot more footage. But I might have some less interesting videos. Well, they might not be less interesting, but I will have some more videos that aren't super high edited content. Um, so I was planning, I think I'm going to do this. I am going to make a segmented video of all of the jumps from uh, the Super Smash Bros. That will be released after the original video. Um, but... Because I, I like, you know, when I'm telling the story, I don't want to give away the ending. So it's going to be hard to kind of release that video. Um, I also don't want people to see that video and not the other one. I'd rather people see the video that I'm going to spend a lot of time editing and not do that one. But uh, rather than not ever seeing that one. But I'm also going to be doing... Be, be, and I didn't do this with the other... With the Dark Souls Gwyn thing. Because all the Gwyn battles were pretty boring it was just fight one Gwyn in a boss battle the boss battles were not interesting however in code vein that is the entire thing so i'm going to make a compilation of all the code vein boss battles just unedited unfortunately a lot of them won't have great sound 
Um, or it might have other issues, but it will show the, the battles in their entirety. So people that enjoy watching that will be able to see that. Um, and it'll just show, show all the successes. But I am planning on spending a lot more time editing in this coming week. Um, and I will begin working next week, uh, teaching again, because school is back in session, hopefully. Hopefully they don't close it back down. But I plan to work almost... I, I, want, I want to really push myself in working, generally. So I'm going to come home from work and then start working on videos or stream. And I'm going to try and cut down on how much time I take as breaks. Um, just because I think, especially with the work I'm doing is not that difficult, I don't really need that many breaks. Um, Sorry that I'm, like, opening all these chests, like, frantically and not actually doing anything. I'm just not really thinking. Oh, I do want this. I'll put this here. But, yeah, now we wait. Um, I guess, well, mm, I'm going to wait on that have another child here. <coughs> Actually, one thing I can do right now is get more, or I will, after this night passes, because it's almost night, get more uh, wool to make more beds, because I want to not have to farm Endermen, and I'd rather... I mean, I can, though. Who knows? Who knows? What am I listening to? Oh, Phil Collins. I was like, this is very orchestral. Okay, now I can work at peak efficiency. How much sand do I have? Not too much. Sand is easier to get than wood, though. And it's less dangerous. Because I don't actually have to go into the island to get it. Nice. Okay. I hate that you can't have anything in your hand. And you try to get into a bed. Okay. He just wanted to... To run across the bed, but not actually go in it. Oh wow, I got really disoriented. So hopefully this stream ends with me. It will end. It, there's no doubt in my mind. I will have all the blaze rods I need out of there. And then I'm going to maybe try and get wither skeletons until I lose my mind. And then we can go look for the... Or I guess I'd have to either farm Endermen or... Uh, Hopefully this fucker becomes the right cleric I need. Do I only have one child here? Yeah, it's unfortunate. I might be able to have more. I might be able to have more. So let me make more beds. I'll just do that. I mean... I, I could go, though... It's just dangerous and not guaranteed. But like I said, I can get Ender Pearls. Ender Pearls are not that hard to get. It's just which one will take longer. 
Um, but there's a strategy where I go into this nether portal over here. There's a warped forest there. Let's just, let's just, let's just check it out. Let's check it out real quick. Since I'm already over here, let's, let's check it out. Hopefully I don't die and lose all of this shit. <laughs> there's a boat in here. I can't, I can't get in the portal because of the fucking boat. There we go. Um. Hello? What the fuck are you doing in here? Oh my gosh, please don't do that. Let's just take a quick look. Are they here? Oh, my boat is gone. I actually had more boats here. So basically I could stay in here, place boats, the endermen would go in the boats, and then they would be able to get unable to get out. Also, this portal over here is the one I used to farm, so I'd go in this portal and it leads 128 blocks away in the overworld from this portal. Where is it? Let me in the portal. Where is the portal? And uh hi pig. And I just destroyed the overworld por portal. Um can I use this real quick? Actually, this might suffocate me if I try to get in here. Okay, it's not gonna let me in. I can't face this direction and go to those sheep. I will lose my mind. <sighs> or I get this cleric and hopefully I get a good one because I already have two clerics and they are just um, they don't sell they don't sell ender pearls because I got a bad seed of them. But yeah. So, because yeah, this guy, wait, who are you? Hello? Who the fuck are you? Who are you? What? Who's that guy? I don't know who that is. Why is he not maxed out? Maybe I don't have to get more, uh... We'll see, we'll see. Let's replace all these. I'm um, sorry. I gotta make sure I know what's going on in my world. Okay, okay, okay. This should be enough, right? I can do this, this, and this. glass. Okay. Let's see if I can get some money. Give me that sweet, sweet green. My boy. I hope this guy level. I don't remember who that guy is. I don't remember ever having a cleric that wasn't maxed out. Or not maxed out. I don't know if this diamond farm is dumb or big brain. Are you talking about your own diamond farm or are you saying I have a diamond farm? Are you referring to this as a diamond farm? I guess you could technically say it's a diamond farm, but it's also getting a lot more than diamonds from it. Where is this jackass? You, you. Oh, there was just like, no, no, who are you? Because you already have trades. Who the fuck are you? 
It's weird that the experience rounded up. If you saw there, that trade shouldn't have leveled him up, but it did. Okay. I don't like buying these. It's probably not efficient, but whatever. Please, please have ender pearls. You... I was just told I can't say that word on YouTube. The see you next Tuesday word. So he's useless to me. Because that last trade, it shouldn't be this. It has to be an ender pearl. It can either be... I guess it's two of these. But one of these can be... Let me make absolutely sure. Trading. Minecraft. Cleric. Yeah, it's either a scoot, glass bottle, or ender pearl. And I guess you can have two of them at once. But I have not yet had the... The, uh... The Ender Pearl trade. So that is unfortunate. And I need another blaze stand. <sighs> okay, I need to see what do I need? What do I need? That is a fire protection two book. So I have protection. Oh, I need another protection. Need this. I need another protection because I need to get rid of that. So this can be undone. Put that in there and get that up. Um, actually, I can probably get this now. I think that's how I did it. I had fire protection on those two, and that worked pretty well. I already have the swords. Yeah, so that's all I need. Which I almost actually have enough for. Oh no, I don't, because I need to buy the diamond. And those that other diamond set you saw there was for blast protection. Which I plan to use for uh, creeper harvesting. Where are you? Fire protection for... Yeah, I need you. I kind of did that in the wrong order, but it's fine. I am free from the shackles of the system. Are you talking about yourself, or are you talking about that that idiot cleric that didn't give me the correct trade? Why am I... Oh. I thought my key stopped working. Um... I might as well get a full stack of blaze rods. I also got more um, arrows. Yeah. Don't know if they'll be useful. But. Actually, since I'm not doing anything. Oh, I also, at the end of the stream, I made a pumpkin farm for the end. Since I won't be able to look away from all of the endermen, I'm going to wear pumpkins, which will allow me to look away. Oh, do I only have one pumpkin? Probably correct. I don't know how to grow pumpkins. Hopefully they're growing correctly. Or that I, I am growing them correctly. But we'll see. Also, hello, too wrong. I didn't acknowledge you. By the way, how much better is Fire Protection 5? I didn't know Fire Protection 5 existed. I know Protection 5 does not exist. But Protection 4 is good enough. To get protection five, I would have to combine two of those books, which means it costs up to 60 emeralds, really. Or something like that, I think. Are these, are these pumpkins actually growing? Are they grown? I didn't know if they worked like watermelons. I don't think they do. Oh, okay, they're growing. It's grew. I can't get it because I'm not facing the right direction.
But that'll be useful for the end battle, so I'm already preparing for that. That guy's a fucking menace. So I just do like... Can I, can I, can I get up, please? So I just do this. And this, and then that. And then this. Yeah. Cool. Doing this with no armor would be a tragedy just... Well, for a lot of reasons, but also not being able to have this. Good. Ooh, this is almost done. Okay, 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 okay. No, I lost some time. Why do I have four pumpkin seeds? Are those always there? Yeah, I don't know if protection, fire protection 5 exists. I know sharpness 5 does exist, but I chose to go for looting instead of sharpness because in testing, the extra sharpness didn't really matter much, although when I, I did it in here, it seemed to matter a little, but looting 3 is definitely always better. Where's Flying Turtle 69 when we need him for Minecraft expertise? Yeah. Yeah, dude. This trumpet section sounds too good to be just a random trumpet section. It almost sounds like the Earth, Wind, and Fire trumpet section. Or maybe it's Jerry. Jerry Hay. Only, the barely any trumpet players would know who I'm talking about. The Jerry Hay. You'd have to, you'd have to be like kind of a professional trumpet player to know about them. And the only reason I know about them is because a professional trumpet player was talking to me about them. Okay, what, I should check you. Yeah, so see, this guy has fucking scoot and... Well, who the fuck are you now? What, who are you? Who are these clerics that keep popping up? They can't be the other clerics that I have that are losing their trade. That's not- that doesn't exist. So I don't know who the fuck these people are. Kinda creeped me out. But I welcome them. I don't know how he exists. How I have another cleric. There's- there shouldn't be that- there shouldn't be enough brewing stands here. Oh, I have more sand here. Nice! Uh, So I started watching a new animes, which I think one of you recommended, which I was probably either Zero or um, XGN Shadow or Flying Turtle 64 uh, or 69. Or it was Brad. But uh, Dor Dororo? D Dororo? Dororo? Ah, yeah, yeah. Um, which is about a boy. <laughs> no, really, it's about this man. Well, it's not about this man, but this is how the story is told. There's this man that, um, basically he prays to the demons and he throws away the Buddha. And he's like, I want to become powerful. I will give you anything. Take any one thing from me. And just so I am powerful and I can have my ambition filled to rule. And so the demons are like, nice. So what they do is they, his newborn son, like his, like just came out of the wound. They take all of his limbs, his skin, his eyes, his nose, his ability to speak. They take his ears and his ability to hear. 
and he is this disgusting fetus looking thing with just holes and blood and just veins and it's gross and what's really funny is the it's not funny it's just i don't really know how to describe my emotions when i saw react saw this the mother react but she's like i love this woeful child of ours and the father is like hell yeah i'm gonna become powerful get rid of the kid fuck him we can have another kid and they do have another kid um so they get rid of the kid but the the midwife that is supposed to kill her to kill him is like oh you still want to live so she fucking she fucking grapes of wraths that bitch and puts him in a boat down the river. And basically, he meets this prosthetic dude. This guy that makes prosthetics. And the prosthetic dude makes him a face and arms and everything. And the kid grows up and he can't... He can see, like, the souls of things. Which, they say he can see the souls of grass and shit. And, like, he's, like, dodging inanimate objects like swords and all this stuff. I'm like, what? How? What? How does this work? I thought it had to be like souls, which I mean, I guess if you go by the Japanese thing, that one, I don't know how common it is, but they believed everything had souls. Okay, fine. But, um, it's a little weird. I didn't really think of that until right now, but he can see and he can't, it's not, it's not, he kind of sees whenever the fuck he wants to. Um, but he learns if he kills the demons, he can basically get his body back. Um, and that's as much as I'll say. That's basically summed up in the first three episodes. But he's like... Hello, dog. Hi. Is Penguin still here? If you're still here, I can show you the dog. Can you jump up here? Oh! Oh. Here's the small one. Oh, this way. You want to sit up here? Jeez. There she is. What are you smelling for? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a very comfortable position, but all right. Can't see her. She is too small. There she is. <laughs> anyway. Um, he, uh... It's weird that he'd even want his body back, because he has, like, no fucking personality or, like, life. He's, like, Helen Keller, but ultra mode. He's he's doing a Helen Keller challenge run. Because he's just, like... He can't really feel anything unless it's in his core. And even then, he, most of this contact has been prosthetics. And he can just see souls... It's kind of interesting how he learns of death. They actually don't really explain. They don't explicitly say how he learned of death. But they, uh... He grabs a flower. And it's all green, which means I guess it's good. Or it's like nature. And then, uh... He picks it, and then the color disappears. And I... I that represents him learning as death. About death. But it's not explicitly really said. Did your house burn down? No, we don't even know where the fire was. We went looking for the fire and could not find any trace of fire. I didn't look at, like, the news, the local news yet. But maybe there wasn't even a fire. Maybe people were just lying to us. So who knows. But I did not get high last night, unfortunately. Or maybe fortunately. Okay, goodbye. <sighs> That was Pippa. She is French Bulldog. She is three. She really likes me. She follows me around everywhere. But she's also annoying. Stop! Do not lick my dig. My didgeridoo.
Okay. Um, but it's a good show so far. I'm like seven episodes in. I don't know why I got in that boat. But both my dogs sleep a very long time. They sleep most of the day because they are bulldogs. Dark Souls, but you must pet her with one hand the entire time. That would be... I'd have to either do a speed run or she would not be happy with me. Okay, so what do I not need here? What do I want to take with me? Let me sort what I want to take with me. Just so that's faster, since I'm just waiting for stuff to melt, to smelt, to become not felt. Might as well take that with me, just in case. Actually, I really don't need to take that with me. I can just make any type of... Uh... Any type of pickaxe. Let's take this. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh, I'm supposed to get leather. Let's take this. Let's take that. Um, I can melt this. Or cook this. I'm just gonna forget about getting milk because I lost all my fucking buckets. Um, this looks like a good thing to take with me. Maybe not these. I can just take a whole stack of wood. I'll take this. I need to find that leather. Not that leather. I think I have more leather, don't I? And yes, this is my tool shirt. This is the one I got from the concert. I got two from the concert. I got one off of a dude who was like just selling them off the street, so it was probably a ripoff or a scalper. That was like 15 bucks, and then this shirt was $60, and it's an official one. But it is a very nice shirt. It is considerably nicer than the $15 one, and it's one of my favorite shirts. Except the tool, kind of, it can look like fool, or like poot, or foot, or any of those words. But um, other than that, it's a very, I really like this shirt. Is it worth $60? It was worth $60 if I say it's from the, uh, the Tool concert. Otherwise, no, it's not worth $60. But it is. Um, because I got it from the concert itself, it kind of has some memories with it. Memories of me going alone. Um, not because... Not because no one else wanted to, but because it was very expensive. Um, and it was an okay concert. Um, I think it was a good experience, but it was not as good as I thought it would be. Mostly because he just doesn't sing that hard. He doesn't go that hard when he sings live. Kind of was relaxed. Um, I guess I'll just... Running out of slots to do... This is definitely some, it's got to be some famous horn line. Sounds, it's either Jerry Hay or Earth, Wind, and Fire. Which, I'm sure Phil Collins has the ability to use for his band. The clout to bring onto his band. Stop holding up that emerald, you're not going to fucking trade with me. Cool. 
So I actually might be ready to go very soon. Okay, you fucker. Fuck her, but I hardly know her. I had to hear that joke every single day. I went to marching band practice. It was terrible. Um. Who am I going to? Who, who am I? Oh, I need a librarian. I need this one, actually. I need two of you? Pretty sure I need two of you. Now I need the diamond, diamond chest and diamond legs. Also can look like pool, loop. You can just make the words say anything you want. The, uh, the shirt, I mean. This hard line is so clean, it's kind of gross. It's not stank enough. Why does this one always go out first? Fuck off! Why are they pushing me? Emeralds? Please, please. Just want to get this done with. Do I need more banners? No, I don't. I don't need more banners. Not now, anyway. Uh, you is actually. Get the fuck out of the way. Wait, who are you? Hey, he escaped. Maybe. Maybe the other guy looks just like him. Are you the guy I need? No. Wait, you both? No. You are the one I need. That one guy escaped that. that prison he was in underwater. Not. Oh, yeah. I got confused because it said blast protection. I was like, wait a minute. Okay, now I should be ready to go. May I, yes. Let's eat some rotten flesh. Always good for the body. Um. Where did I put that boy? Is he back here? Because the helmet should have fire protection, right? No, it has protection. So I put protection on the boots, is what I do. That was very strange. Um, protection on the boots. Sure. Doesn't matter too much. Oops, I don't know why I did that. Now I put fire protection on both of these, which I think I fucked up. I did fuck up. <laughs> That's fine. I'll probably need a um, I, I definitely want fire protection on these. So I need a fire protection book, which I will have enough for um, after this day. Protection, fire, yeah, so I need fire protection for you. Do I have a book? Yes. 
You go in there, not there. You go right there. There, there. Okay. Why have you stopped running? Why have you stopped running? All right. P. I know I'm not being incredibly efficient anymore with my glass making, but I'm excited to go and get out of this. I'm not really excited because I know what awaits me. Only more pain and suffering. There is no escape from this hell. Who the fuck are you? Get out of my fucking way, you nimrod. I'll make your face flatter than it already is. I, I, these these fucking things piss me off so much. You don't know how much they've been harassing me off stream. Where's my fucking cartographers? Hello? Where are you, you idiots? Are they stuck in this stupid fence right here? I feel like I'm- that felt like I was blind. Like- I, I don't know what's but I can't see what's behind me, but I know it's there. And I have to just touch it and feel it until I get through. Where are my cartographers? Assholes. Where are they? Where are the- where are they? Where could they be? They're just gonna spawn behind me. Are they stuck in this house? No. Look, they'll be here now. <laughs> fucking jackasses. I hate these guys. You know what? I'm actually gonna buy some food as well. Yo, yo, fuck face, get over here. Okay. Get me to that fire protection, which I know is this guy. Floating trees on the horizon are so good. <laughs> I just remember playing on a server and it was not allowed and they banned people if you left floating trees. So like all these like little kids got banned. That was semi expensive, but that's fine. There's one block of netherrack over there. Building the nether, f uh, the n get no! Building the nether arena, the wither arena, wither arena is scaring me. I don't know really how to build it. It's just, because I can't look down or up, it becomes difficult to build anything more than two blocks high. I could build the bottom out of underwater I, I could build excuse me I could build the bottom underwater 
Um, which I might do. But... I don't know. Really, scaffolding would help a lot. I might need scaffolding. It's it's going to be a difficult boy to build. Even though it's just going to be a box, it's going to be real fucking hard to build. It's going to take a lot of planning. Okay, sorry, I forgot what I was doing. Need to get this. I'm so lucky I don't have to fucking get in uh, levels to do all this. That I can just get all these levels from uh, trading. Protection, fire protection, fire protection, protection. Okay, cool. It should be good. I really don't need a clock. Don't need that. Don't need this. Take those. I don't want that because that's binding. Take some random blocks. Okay. Wood, I need wood. Take some of these. Ooh, sand is actually something I need. Um, I don't need wool. Let's just take those and then a boat. <sighs> okay, back to hell. Literally and literally. don't want to. I don't want to do this. I don't like this at all. It really would not be that bad if getting there was not such an issue. As in getting through the nether to that one spot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. This is so awful. But I gotta prove that I can beat this baby game on non-baby difficulty. <sighs> I don't want to do this, man. I'm so, like... <sighs> it's so gross. 26 26 it's my destination uh, there was a story I was gonna tell last night but it got too late I forgot what it was now yeah this is the right direction I can't remember. Recently I was reading about Willy Wonka. Um, I don't know why. I can't remember how I got there. But I was reading about all the adaptions of Willy Wonka. And how he's a very, like, disturbed character in one way or another. Um... I don't really know where I was going with that. I also read about the Bates Motel. Um, because I, earlier I was excited about it. I thought this might be a cool, um, show to watch. This is many years ago. I thought this might be a cool show to watch. And then I read some reviews. I was like, this seems like a shit show to watch. And just the other day I was reminded of it for some reason. So I read most of the plot before I got bored and the plot was... The plot synopsis looked very chaotic and everything. But it was talking about my field once again, which was dissociative identity disorder. 
or not my field, but one of my projects I worked on for a long time. And I can't remember where else, someone else brought up dissociative identity disorder and they were saying my view is in the minority. And I was like, you're fucking wrong. Not anymore, it isn't. I don't know who was saying that, but um, I still am very critical of the way that disease is handled. Gosh, who, why? Maybe that wasn't even real. Maybe that was a dream. Because I don't know why I would have been hearing about all this different stuff related to that. That might have been a dream. But anyway, reading about Bates Hotel was not a dream. And uh, it's interesting because they end it differently than the original movie. Um, and I watched the ending and I'm like, okay. <sighs> but it looked like a show I would not like to watch. It just looks really boring. They also shot this girl. <laughs> is about... She's acting like she's going to give a blowjob to this guy, and she ends up blowing his head. I mean, like, shooting him through the head. And there are a lot of jokes about that in the comments. But anyway, I noticed that, um, and I don't know exactly how blood splatter works and all that. But he's like, imagine he, he's a rich guy, so he's got this glass, huge glass window behind him. Like, massive. And he... It has his back to the window and he's in a chair and she shoots him so the window would be behind him she shoots him through the head and you see all the blood splatter on the glass which means that there's an exit wound which means the bullet I mean maybe the bullet didn't go all the way through but the at least the firing of the gun caused the backside of the head to explode outward which maybe maybe it's possible that there is so much force that the back of the head blows out, but I thought there'd have to be an exit wound. More and an exit wound is different than this theoretical wound I'm talking about, where your head just blows out the back. As exit wound would mean the bullet goes through, and so I saw this scene. I'm thinking, why did the glass not shatter? Because all the blood sprayed out onto the glass. But doesn't that mean the bullet would come out too and just break the glass? And that was what I was thinking about for a good 20 minutes. I should have looked up, looked into it more. I find that on these streams, I, I'm like... I'm coming up with new hypotheses as why... Of why this is... It was how it was. Um, I overshot here. I'm pretty sure the glass should have broke. I mean, like, how? why would... I mean, it's not like the gas would go into his head. I mean, definitely if... In most... Yeah, it, it would... Because there wouldn't be... The bullet itself would not have, like, a percussive force around it. The bullet would go through, would it not? Like, if your head blows out the back... The bullet definitely went through, right? How could it not? How could your head blow out the back and the bullet not go through entirely through the head? It's not carrying with it like a fucking air... A fucking air tunnel where the bullet stays in and there's all this force that explodes the back of the head. Like, that doesn't work. I once considered being a blood splatter analysis, an analyst. But I think it took a lot of chemistry, which I'm bad at. Sorry if this creeps anyone out, but this will be a very common thing I talk about. I find it very fascinating. I was thinking about cannibalism today. Because, um, there's a certain someone... When I say that, it sounds like it meant me. But there is a person on the news who recently, he ate brain. And I think he's kind of political, so I won't really bring him up. But um, he ate human brain. So I was thinking about cannibalism. It has to do, you know, because I studied psychopaths and I 
still do technically. I'm still employed by the University of British Columbia, Okanagan. How the fuck? I don't know how to say it. Oh shit, it's just right here. Hello. No, fuck off. You're in the one spot I need to be. Piss off. Get the fuck out of here. Get away from my bed. He wants smart. That's why. Sleep. Swords up, mates. Every time I look to this side of the screen, I get a little jo I see a little Jojo. I see Gift Chan doing a little Jojo pose. And it brings me some joy to my life. Rather than the buff hop up, which brings a mixture of joy and also agony to my life. Okay, let's get all this shit in here. Um, let's take this. Let us take those. I don't need that. Let's put you in there. Don't need any of that. That was superfluous that I just brought. I don't need any armor, extra armor on the way there. Might as well bring that just in case something terrible happens. Let's also make this into sticks. Don't need any armor. Let's take that. Put that in there. Let's put that in there yeah yeah my plan is to put this all uh most of this in the other chest the chest when i get there yeah let's keep that in there the lack of life in her eyes is just right I don't even know if it's the eyes. Because if she has an expression, it kind of looks like she has life in her eyes. So it might be like the shape of her eyes or something. Or I don't know. Maybe it's the facial. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Not me. I don't know. I don't know. Who, who knows? You know? I don't know. Okay. Step one, get bla- well, step one, get there. Step two, place, get blaze rods. Step three, put blaze rods back into here. Get them out of there. Step four, go back in and get wither heads. Or just do that for a while. Really don't have to. But basically, it's going to be a lot of farming from here on out. Cool, cool, cool. Maximum fuckage. Wow. I just sprint button, no work. Jump there. Success. But this, this... This, uh, I might want that. Uh, I might want this. Sure. Oh, I definitely don't need all of those. Put those there. Why not? Put this here. Boat. Letter. Dumb food. I might not want to use this. Actually, still have a lot of food in here. Okay, let's load these. And we are back in action, boys. This is still Fucktown. I'll just have to kill these guys gradually. Yes, get fucked. Oh, nice, Sue. What just hit me? Don't know what hit me. 
Four blaze rods already. Okay, I need to have more... More sense of danger. You know what? I don't even have to go outside. I can just wait for these fuckers to spawn in here. Okay, back in here. I wish they would... If they didn't break this for me, like break the, uh... The fucking boat, then I'd be much happier. Also, speaking of Gift Chan, um, once the Code Vein video is released, maybe two or three months afterwards, that's gonna be my new profile picture, and she will probably be my mascot. Since she is original and she is a cutie, and I like being I like being cute. I like being personified as cute. Not like in real life. In real life, I am tough, tough manly man. <laughs> But on the internet, I like to be, I like to be cute in any fashion, as a Kirby or as, as Enumu waifu. But I'm not one of those freaks that puts, um, anime girl as their f Facebook profile picture. Just on everything else. My 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 Steam my Steam uh, profile picture. I love it, but you can't really see it because the Steam profile pictures are so small. But it's it's Fujiwara Chika from from uh, who is it? It's Fujiwara Chika from Love Is War. It's just a panel of her that says, "Great, you died," <laughs> which I felt was good with the Dark Souls stuff. Um, you don't like Buff Hoppit, um, Monster Muscles profile? The problem with that is he doesn't fit in a profile picture because he's so Monster Muscle, so you end up just seeing the Hoppip head. And people are like, why is he a Hoppip? Plus the, uh, the Gif Chan is way more original. And it's more describes what I do, which is defeat terrifying people like Gwyn. Are you attacking me? Okay, you're not, right? Okay, back the fuck up! Ho! Let's kill the ho. Bitch. Can you fuckers not? Stop being assholes. Oh, thank you. What is happening? Why am I... Why am I dying? Why was I getting injured right there? Do, you, do they do contact damage? They don't do contact damage. Do they? Why was I getting injured? That was weird. Can you not fly up like a fuckboy? You mother... I knew that would happen. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, it gave me back my boat, though. Come here. I don't know what's over there. I just thought since I was out of the boat, they seem to do contact damage. I mean, they seem to do, but do they? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, dog! Yo, this bass player's killing it. That line was really cool. It wasn't that, like... Interesting, but it was a groovin'. Just moving for a groove. This might be a little slower blaze rod-wise. But... The problem is if I run away, and they hit me, then I'm facing the wrong way. Because I'm not going to be facing them when I run away. I'm a, um, so when I get out of the boat, I'll be stuck facing the direction that is not their direction. He's like right there, you are. Uh, 
dude. Man, if a wither skeleton comes up behind me, which hasn't happened yet, I think I might be fucked. If I had the protection four, I might not be fucked. There is a blaze firing at me, I think. No. Why is it brighter over here? That chest will never be opened in this game. To think I'm partially responsible for the existence of Gift Chan. Yeah, I mean, really, you are. Because we were talking about... What, what is that anime I hate? Where they have the fucking square eyes and it's supposed to be... My friend like, no, it's super dark and edgy. And it's like, no, they're trying to be edgy. M Madoka... I get it confused with the Madaka's box or whatever that fucking show is called. Magica, Madoku, Madoka Magica, something like that. The show was so disgusting, I couldn't even. could not get through it. You. I like really want to kill you, sir. But that is what killed me last time. Mado Madoka. Madoka. Magica. Am I listening to now? Let's up them. About 30 minutes, I'm gonna have to go put my dogs to bed. Yeah, that show is like. I just didn't like anything about it. Someone recommended me a show, and I thought it was called Faith. Um, I don't know where in my notes it is. I don't want to look through now. But I could not find a thing called Faith. I found Fate! Which I don't know if they were... Is that what they meant? I did watch one episode of Fate. I'm not sure which season or arc or whatever it is. Because I know Fate has like... There's like Grand Order and then there's something else. <laughs> but the episode I watched, they fucking spent five minutes... Having two characters circle this guy for no reason just to give foreshadowing and exposition, and I hated it so much, I just clicked off. I was like, that is such a lazy way of doing things. Dororo is alright, though. It's sort of interesting. It's kind of getting a little boring. <sighs> Fuck. I want him to want me. Put this right here. I had to hurt both of them. Now I am in danger. So is he violent towards me? Ow. Ow. <laughs> okay. Ah! Well, now I must kill all of them. Fuck off! No, 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 no. Why am I f up in the air? Yes. Stay in your, your fucking boat. So all of these are aggroed against me, so they must all die. Get down here, you shit. Come here. Come here. Is there anyone down here that wants to fight me? That's not extraordinarily dangerous. I will need to kill all these pigmen, I think. Yes, they all just raise their arms at me. Fuck off. Mostly I want to kill them though. Sorry, but you chose this. This will also unlock some of the spot of the the mobs. Low HP theme starts playing. Would like you to like me. I need to actually this is this crafting table I need right now. It sucks that I can't break oh, fucking oh good. First try. Good thing this is right here. I 
am a quarter of the way to my goal for blaze rods. Okay, you should be hostile toward me, right? You guys seem to be. Can't have that in this civilized society. I think if I get hit from behind, I'm going to jump out of my boat and circle around and kill it. Kill whatever's attacking me. I also tried to put that boat in a spot that wouldn't really be in the way. Oh. Okay. You fucker. You fucking. I hate you. Why be a cocksucker when you can just not suck cock? When it's not wanted. Imagine if I just filled this place with boats and I got on the top of all those boats and I'd be zooming. I'd be going so fast. I don't know why. Keep looking left like I can look left in this lookless game. This is like... What a... This... See, this makes the video, I think. What a fucking wacky way to play the game. You're just in a boat on land. Like... Fucking crazy. What an ex... What an experience, Mog. This drum cell is good. I like it. No, 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 I don't want to take this boat with me. Thank you. I want it to stay there. Okay, yeah, there should be shit spawning. Maybe I should go down this long, dark hallway and that will get shit started. Not you! You are not supposed to spawn. You. No, 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 no. Where the fuck are you? Get over here, you asshole. Oh, uh, he's gonna shoot my boat. No! Stop shooting my boat, you jackass. No, get your ass over here. It's gonna be like the only enemy that'll back up like that. That wasn't really the smartest thing to do, but... I'm gonna go down this hallway and hopefully it'll reset the spawns. I am out of pretzels, which means I am basically out of snacks to eat. So now I will just starve and lose weight again. I don't really rem I don't know the mechanics of saturation that well. I don't know if I just kind of wasted that or if that actually is invisibly stored. Which, if you didn't know, saturation, your hunger bar actually goes past that full point. And that's why when you're healing health, it doesn't immediately go down. It's because you're saturated. So, um, golden carrots are actually, like, the best, maybe with golden apples, but they heal you super fast. There's, like, a lot of saturation, whereas, like, cake and cookies are the fucking worst. They have almost zero saturation, so anything you do, they, anything that takes hunger, they quickly runs out of the hunger bar. I don't know the exact mechanics behind it. Can you not be a dick? You're gonna burn my boat, dude! It's not really imperative that I know the exact details of how it works. But he was stuck in the. Mmm, rotten flesh.
You best not set this on fire. I mean, it's not really... I don't really need it. I guess I'll go over there. Oh! Did neither of them drop anything? I don't like that hole there. Fuck it. Fuck it. I want to get this done right now. Oh, I should have brought... I guess maybe I can break it with a wooden pickaxe, but... Might take fucking years. I think I want to be in this configuration. I don't actually want to be in the boat. Please get out of there. I don't want to jump because I can get pushed off. I want to be like on this. Come down here, fuckheads. Please. Uh... What is this dumb shit? Get down here. I fucking. Oh my gosh. It's causing fucking havoc. I think that'll draw them out. They haven't been firing shit at me yet, though. a third of the way to my goal. And I would go in there, but I just, I can't see, so I'm nervous. I got my boat back. Yes, get fucked. I saw that coming and I just did nothing. <laughs> I was thinking, not because of that, but I was, and that is not what caused me to do that. Rather, I was distracted by this thought, but I was thinking, man, it's really nice to not be lit on fire all the time and like actually have to worry about it. Oh, fucking someone shooting from the left. What is that garbage? Lucky Rotten Flesh? No. Oh, man, if I could just place a boat everywhere, this would, this would be way, way different run. Yes, no. no, don't go back in. Get out here. Flesh actually pampered me. Twenty-eight. Oh my gosh! Everything is on fire. This is fine. 
because I have the fire of protection for. Oh my gosh. I actually feel stronger than last time. Did I have it like set up the other way where I had protection on the helmet or on the chest piece and then leggings and then did I have fire protection on the helmet and... Oh. Oh. What was that? You just called me. Uh, give me one second. Got a butt dial from my brother, so I had to make sure he's not drowning in a ditch um, that's on fire. Oh, no, my music. Why you need so many? Because I'm planning to destroy the- I'm planning to destroy the spawner. I just want to be absolutely sure if I fuck up everything that I don't need to come back and find another nether fortress. I also, it's because I need them for ice. Oh man, I really shouldn't though, but I should. Because what if I, what if I die, what if I'm trying to build the, the portal and I just fucking die and lose all of them? Or like a creeper explodes them or some bullshit. I can probably destroy this spawner, but I want to destroy... Oh, that just might not be a good idea. Because I want to destroy the spawner so I can get more wither spawns. And not have to deal with these fuckeroos. Even though they really haven't been that threatening so far. But now, I, I think I did switch the armor stuff because they they were like actually fucking me up and I'm being way less safe right now. So I think I switched up the armor and I did the opposite of what I had before. There is a blaze over there. <gasps> There's a blaze over there attacking. So I begin my training for the elections tomorrow. <laughs> In the wake of a gigantic election uh, ballot scandal that happened yesterday. I will be starting it tomorrow. Just uh, It's going to be online training, 9 to 4. And then the next day is in-person training. Uh, same time. So that's like 200 bucks right there, which is nice, I think. Might be a little more than that, actually. Um, and then I have one more training, and then I actually may work more than I initially thought, which is good. But then also school starts on October 5th. Um, so I'll be teaching, which is a much more stable job. Hopefully, hopefully they don't change the rules again. Can any of you assholes, like, show some, show some decency? Um, is this a, uh, a wall? No, it's not. It's a hole. Good. I mean, not good, but good thing I learned that it was not a wall. I want to place some more boaties. 
if I can. Not at this angle. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it! It's not like I'm carrying a shit ton of very expensive gear. Oh, that was bad. Fuck your noise. Why am I getting fucked up so hard now? Why was I not experiencing this much fuck? I was like not getting fucked up this hard before. What the hell? Hello, dog. I will take you out in eight minutes. That sound good? My other dog is down. She usually sleeps all day. Today. She only wants to go for a golf cart. Hey! I am currently fighting Hell Beast right now. Dog, I am a tiny bit busy. Do not eat that duct tape. Down here. You know what? I might not even be able to hit the spawner. But if it's at an angle, I can't hit. See the golden carrot? See how quickly it's just healing all of those? It's because of the, it's got the best saturation. I think, or it's in the top tier. Hopefully, I don't die. Jumping off the line. Because I forgot where I'm supposed to jump off. Down here. Almost got 64. Fuck off! Fuck it! Fuck you! Maybe I'm getting the contact damage and that's why I'm dying so quickly. There's a lot of them. Shit. No. Oh, heal, 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 please. Why am I dying so quickly? Why? It must be they must have contact damage because I am all of a sudden taking significantly more damage. Okay, I need to get out of here. Okay, I guess I'm not going out. You're blocking me. I think right here? Wrong. Right here. I can't destroy that. I don't know 
how to go back now. I can get hit off. So is this right here? It's the other way, it's the other way, it's the other way, it's the other way, it's this. This leans me back. Oh gosh. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What the fuck is going on with my life right now? Get, get out of my... You cock. Get out of my boat. Ugh. Fine. I, I can't even hit that thing. Oh, hello. Good to see you here. I'm gonna move around this way. Yeah, what up? Just coal. Okay, I need to get out of here. Well, first though, before I get out of here, let's do a quick check of the area. See if there's any wither skeletons that I can kill. And then I'll get out of here. I will put my, uh... Blaze rods in that chest, or maybe I should just go the, all the way out. I'll go all the way out, just so if I die, I don't have to come back in here and get those. These pigments still hostile? Ow. Yes. Let's see a blaze here. There's two blazes here at least. Get rid of one of them. Get rid of the other one, maybe? So I think I want to be facing this way. Oh my gosh, it's a disaster down there. Oh, I didn't know it would be that far of a drop. <clears throat> Please don't be aggroed toward me. And I hope there's no gas. Uh, you guys might be hearing one. I can't hear anything. Okay, I'm basically in the clear. I need to go on this side, I remember. Okay. Mission success. Hi, I will take you out right now. Got a lot of gold, which is useless to me. Okay, I will be right back. I'm gonna go take my dogs out, so it'll be like 10 minutes.
I have returned, and uh, uh, um, so uh, popular to contrary belief. I love cheese. Fucking love cheese, and I got a cheese that is. So I like Bella Vitano cheese. It's a really strong sort of cheese that I put on crackers and shit. And I found one. Loud phone. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry, uh, my phone doesn't really know how to tell the ringtone and the music apart. So, or, well, on headphones. So, like, um, the, the, uh, when I get a call without my headphones on, it's very loud and I can hear it. But when it's through my headphones, it keeps that same volume setting and it's super loud in my headphones. Um, that was my father. Which reminds me, he was asking if my hand was still bleeding. So, I, uh... My father was having trouble opening a a Yeti container. Um, it's just a flask, I guess. It's not really a flask. It's a water bottle thing. But it has a screw on top with, like, like a handle. So you, it, it doesn't have, like, a thing you drink out of, a sippy thing or whatever. It's, it's, you twist off, like, this fucking, what is that? Oh, a thermos. So you twist it off and then you drink. And he was having trouble getting it off. And I came around to help him, which I guess I'm finally kind of stronger than my father. <laughs> um, but he, he's definitely more fit. He's very, uh, he's a triathlete. So he's, and mostly ever since he hurt his hip, now he's just a swimmer. And he's actually a very, very good swimmer. But, um. Like, he goes to Nationals and the Masters stuff. But he, uh... Anyway, he's having trouble getting this thermos off, so I was like, okay, let me see if I can get it off. And I should have noticed something was off, because I twisted it, and there was a force. So I twisted it, and there was force twisting it back, instead of just being stuck. And I should have thought that was a little weird. But I used maximum power that I have gained from doing all the sets I do because I keep dying in challenge runs. Um, and all of a sudden, it was like a fucking air cannon went off. It was really loud, and it went right in my face. There was compressed air inside, and it blew up in my face. And it ended up making just a small... It took some skin off of my hands, and it just bled more than I thought. Um... But he had a smoothie in there that he didn't tell me, and he left it for two days. So all that stuff had time to make to make oxygen, all of the microbes in there, the biotics, or maybe there was mold or some shit in there. Uh, probably not really mold, but it's all, like, fruit and vegetables. So it, like, shit, look at that. Oh my gosh. My diamond helmet's almost broken. I wonder if I can repair that anyway. I might be able to. It would be better to repair that so I don't have to, uh... I don't have to use another book. Shit, I might have to go back and repair some stuff. But I'll be fine for a bit. 
Um, I was just getting fucking destroyed by gas, though. Can I get in this, please? Cool! Thanks for fucking that up. You piece of shit. You forfeit your life. Um. Anyway, so that happened. I don't know if they were aggroed before, but they definitely are now. He can't get to me, which is annoying. I need to turn. Anyway, um, luckily it didn't, like, explode in my eye and, like, make me blind. But, uh, it's definitely bleeding for a while. It's, it's weird. It didn't take off that much, that much skin, but it bled quite a bit. The reason I just did that, what I just did, is so I don't fall in a one-block hole. Vroom! Um, yeah. I don't know why I'm getting all these calls at night. So I think I just re aggroed these guys when it was not necessary. Witherhead. Not that I expected one, but keep thinking I'll be lucky. Please let me in. Please let me. I please enter. I should post those videos in the Discord. The uh, Alan Resnick stuff. The one I'm referencing is actually not a good one, in my opinion, but... Alan Resnick's just a weird director dude from Adult Swim that makes very strange, surreal, and kind of horror stuff. This is not working how it used to be. Why is it eating my input? So I can't, I can't, uh, got bl blaze rods, can't break spawner, because it's not at the right level. I technically could, but it'd be too dangerous. Technically can, but too dangerous. And armor about to break. That's probably from the blazes doing, uh, contact damage. Because I was getting, like, fucked up when I went inside there. <sighs> anyway, what I was talking about with the Belly Vitano cheese, Belly Vitano cheese, I found one called Raspberry Ale. It's just a hint of raspberry, and then you can really taste the ale flavor. But, uh, I had some of that, and it's really good. Which reminded me of when I went whitewater rafting... I may have told this story before, but I had a guide with three fingers, and he was talking about how he's a vegan, and he, or a vegetarian trans, trying to transfer to a vegan, and he said the hardest thing is to get rid of cheese, but he believes that cheese is a drug, um, which I listened to what he said. I mean, back then, I think I gave him a more scientific answer, because I actually knew the neurochemistry of addiction he was saying it was an addictive drug specifically and um which i guess i don't know what the definition of drug is but he, he main point is he thought it was addictive and he cited the source that said oh well cheese releases a fuck ton of dopamine which dopamine is not really what makes you happy 
people get that confused. Neither is serotonin. Serotonin doesn't necessarily make you happy. Um, serotonin more in general makes you excited or active because um, it's the opposite of melatonin, which is the sleep neurotransmitter. But serotonin might be more linked to happiness in some respects. But dopamine is not is not liking. Everyone gets it confused with liking. Dopamine is not liking. L dopamine reinforces the path of uh, the pathways of wanting, which makes sense for addiction because you want it. So basically, when you satisfy the dopamine receptors, it gives you relief. Um, the liking is comes from another pathway, but the dopamine is wanting. So remember that. Um, dopamine is the transmitter for uh, almost all addictions. Although, like, you know, painkillers and opioids, those are opioids, obviously. Um, opioid. Opi. Op is that the neurotransmitter, opium? That's not right. What is. Is it opium? I don't. That doesn't sound right for some reason. Um, anyway. But he was saying cheese is a dr addictive drug because uh, it releases a fuck ton of dopamine, which I believe is true. I was like, you do have a point there. He also talked about many crazy things. He talked about LSD and a bunch of other shit. It's very interesting. He was a very fun guide. Um, would have again. I don't know if he still has a job after the pandemic, but... If I ever went whitewater rafting again, I would definitely go with him. I was planning to go this summer with my father and my Buddha, but, um... COVID happened and shut that down. This is... Extraordinarily unfortunate. I'm gonna be here for fucking years waiting for wither skeletons. And if I could move around as fast and like hunt as fast and safely, you know, it would not take as long as the last stream because I have this looting three sword, which is a three times increase in the um, wither skeleton uh, the wither head dropping because it should it used to be 2.5 percent or something like that now it's like 6.5 percent which i guess is not three times but you round down everything um so should be faster but of course <sighs> Not seeing any wither skeletons, they're not spawning. And like, they're probably spawning out there, but it's, I could fall off and lose all my shit again, and then have to do two hours of fucking farming to get the shit. Wish I could destroy this block. There's no way I can destroy this block. That is so aggravating. Mm. There's nothing up there. I think both these staircases are actually, like, don't lead anywhere. I'll be here for another 10 or 15 minutes, I guess, or 30 minutes, and then I guess I'll go search for the stronghold, see what we're dealing with there, but I most likely will need a shit ton of TNT, which means I need a shit ton of... Good. Fucking die. 
Suffocate, you piece of shit. Anyway, I'll likely need a lot of TNT, which my plan is to bring, to build a little shelter that protects my back, and then just wait for mobs to come in. And more precisely, wait for creepers. But I have that blast protection for, so hopefully I don't get like soft locked or anything. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. It's it's so so terrible. Gonna go down here. Let's set up. Is that a cliff? I can't even tell. It doesn't look like it. So if I do this... Oh wait, did that just work? Works for me. This won't block. Okay. This place may be a better spawn. For wither skeletons, maybe? Let's see what we're dealing with. Death right here? Cool. Good thing I did this, because I could have just died right fucking there. Not ever seen it. Seen it coming. all these chests and I just can't get them. It's so sad. You gonna attack me? Try it. I don't want to go down those stairs because I'll be stuck down there. This really is not useful to me, I guess. I don't want to go down those stairs because I would have to- oh, oh, okay. I'd have to set that all up again. too close to it or some shit? What a, I don't know what I'm on. It's scaring me. Fuck. This is very unfortunate. Anyway, I'd get hit by some stupid shit. Hey, hey, hey you! Scary... Scary Shadow Man. He got in the fucking boat. Am 
might be another one around here. And I'm gonna have to aggro all the pigmen. Cool. Okay. Maybe not. Cool. <laughs> the magma cube is in the other slot. I really don't want to go out there, because that is super scary land. It's over here. This theoretically should all be safe. Something that just attacked me. What is on a wither skeleton? Was it a normal skeleton? It was a normal skeleton. I have no more boats, and I'm facing a very shitty direction. Shit. I wish there was a way for me to get... What the fuck is going on here? What, what is this doing? Why is this doing this? What? Are these like glitched out? What the fuck? Why was that not working? Oh, if I had a bow, I could, like, not fire at all? Shit. Okay, I still might have a solution. Oh, I actually have a even better solution than I was thinking of. I was gonna shoot. Yeah, this is what I thought. Nice! First try. Actually, let's get rid of some of these boats. It's fine, because the boats are somewhat advantageous. Hey, 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 I don't know how. Hey, how, 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 how do I get to you? There's a wither skeleton. Hey. Hold on. Oh, this night. Fire alarms are going off. Or or they're not. I don't know. Um, the, uh... The fire alarms, you know, they run out of battery. And they need to be replaced every so often. And they usually... This is actually nice that they're going off now. Because they usually go off at fucking 4 a.m. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Fucking menace. 
You know what? I think I am going to go back to base because I am about to break this armor. And I don't... I'm just gonna have to fucking wait here forever for wither skeletons. What? Who? Huh? How are you here? Get out of here. You're not supposed to be in this world. Slowly memorizing. Hold on, I need to go figure out this fire alarm. <sighs>
Oh, sorry about that. Concludes. I have to check every single fire alarm. May or may not have fixed it. We don't know. Ah, stressful. <laughs> so now I have a way to uh, get rid of boats. I'm also not in the optimal. What? Okay. But I have to. I have to do it usually because my brother doesn't want to use a ladder and I am a couple inches taller than him so I'm able to to reach them easier although for the one we were looking at I still needed a step ladder and he said he is off to get ice cream so good for him Okay, so I guess what I'm going to do now. Get me out, 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 get me out. What I'm going to do now is go back. Didn't know if he was aggroed or not. Go back home and. Fix my helmets, maybe, but I probably can't. <gasps> For some reason, I thought I would fall off the edge of the earth. Jeez. Don't know why. Um. Actually, let me get, my, get that bread. Let's get that bread. This, take this. Keep the sword. Let's take that. And I will come back here later. That might be a thing. Maybe I just sit in that corridor. I don't even know. I don't even know how to do that part. Maybe I just sit in that corridor and fucking just read a book or something and just keep a watch out and see if there's ever a wither skeleton that goes across the hall. Or maybe I set up a trap there for wither skeletons and just sit there forever because it's like... <sighs> what I was just doing... What, I only found like 10 wither skeletons and I need... How many? How many do I need? How, what is it? What is that math? So if it's... Um... What does that reduce down to? 3 out of 50? Let's round down because I'm unlucky to 2. 25. So maybe I need to find... Well, that's not that bad. Is that right? I need to fight 75 of them? On average? Is that how that works? I'm so bad at probability. Just terribly bad. It's a 6% chance, on average. 6 out of 100. And, or... It's six out of a hundred. I'm I'm so terrible at probabilities. So if I killed a hundred, I would have six of them. Is that how it works? So I should have to kill 50? I'm so fucking bad. You know what? I wonder if I can kill this fucker.
Hey, asshole. Probably can. I got him. And I got two ender pearls. Cool. That saves me a negligible amount of emeralds. Um. Gosh, I'm so dumb. Is that how that would work? If I killed 100, I'd get 6 if it's a 6% chance? So if I cut that down... Because I need 3 of them. So I'd have to kill 50 and I'd get 3? Getting cucked on this island. That's how that would work, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know why I don't understand probability. That's what I studied the most for my GRE, was probabilities, combinations, and sublimations. My brain just doesn't know how to do them. Same with logarithms, I don't really understand why. I wasn't good at trigonometry for a long time because I thought it was more complicated than it really was. I thought I was not understanding something. But my teacher was like, no, you under there's you're looking for something that's not there. It's just these numbers are the way they are. It's like, okay. I can't remember any trigonometry right now. I do have a note card with my entire year on it though. It has all of trigonometry and all of calculus on one note card. I probably could understand all of it still. That's how my one, uh, the teacher who taught it to me learned it all. He just put everything on a single note card and read from that note card at every stoplight, he said. And then the second thing he did was make it interesting to yourself. Make it applicable, I guess. Which was already interesting to me, but like... Not very... Trigonometry is not that applicable. I've had to use it in real life maybe... 10 times out of the classroom since I learned it. Fucking... How old am I? So like 7 years ago or something? Um, multiple triangles I had to figure out for a construction project. Calculus I've never used in real life. Um, except for the ideas of like infinity and limits. But I've actually never used the equations. In neuroscience even, you have to have calculus one for neuroscience. There's only one equation in neuroscience that we use calculus for. And we don't even, it, it has an integral in it, and we, no one ever even uses it. Technically there's two, but they're both derived from the same thing. Which is the, the derivation is the Goldman equation, I can't remember what the other one is. But it basically measures the rate of flow through a neuron, um, or maybe rate of electricity, given its width plus the myelin sheath or some shit. Like I said, we never fucking used it. We shouldn't, really, we shouldn't have even learned it. Like, it's not necessary. <laughs> or we shouldn't have been tested on it, rather. Yeah, I can't remember if you're supposed to use the Goldman equation for something else, but it's the integral of another equation. I used to be a really big math guy. I think I've said this before, but my initial degree was theoretical mathematics. And then I realized I am not smart enough to do anything with that degree. And then, also, I didn't really like applied mathematics. I just didn't for some reason. But I did enjoy shapes a lot, which is why I made a lot of fractal art when I was younger. And then, uh, wrote proofs, not really proofs, but kind of tessellations and structures and nets for four-dimensional objects. 
just for fun. I had them confirmed, so that was pretty cool. But still enjoy math when I'm smart and good at it. I used to be very competitive with it. I used to do like the times tables against Alex Alexandria. She was my rival in third grade. I remember always beating her, but but very she was very close every time, and I was nervous. Um, but we eventually got put in a gifted class, both of us, because we were so cute. Um, and then my whole education kind of got fucked up when I came to Colorado because of bad teachers. Um, but, yeah, I used to be really good at math. Enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed a lot of calculus until we got into, actually, the shapes. The 3D shapes. I hated finding volumes of shit. That was, I hated it. Because I, they, in the advanced class, I remember, they actually made, made us take an IQ test. Which, I know my IQ because of that, but I, that was my IQ when I was like seven or eight. I don't think it's mentally healthy for anyone to know. Mine, I like mine because I'm like, mine is alright. And uh, it's probably higher now, but I don't want to know what it is. Because while it's very useful for science... It's just not good for a person's mental health to know. Because it's just a number that you can't change that just gets worse as you get older. Well, I'm going the wrong way now? What the fuck? There's a guy with a trident that's scaring the shit out of me. Um... But, like, in that advanced class, we learned, like, speech writing. We read a lot of co collegiate-level books. Um, we learned algebra in third grade, and then... Or pre-algebra in third grade, then algebra one in fourth grade. And I was supposed to learn algebra two in fifth grade, but I got taken to Colorado, where they fucking just held me back for, like, three years. And I didn't know what was going on. So that was dumb. But what else? We did speech writing... Uh, speech orating, 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 which, uh, on the first day, it was the first time I had ever, um, what is it called? Not plagiarize. Procrastinated. And I wasn't ready, and I cried in front of the whole class and ran out of the classroom. And my dad had to come and, like, encourage me or something. Then I got all right at doing speeches, I guess. Nowadays, I kind of more improvise and I don't prepare that much because preparing makes me too nervous and I just mostly improvise everything. Okay, they're going to fuck all of them up, so I'm just going to wait over here until day comes. What else did we learn? We did a lot of investigative stuff, like um, high-level problem solving. We, learned, we did ciphers. Um... I didn't even know I was doing ciphers back then. Video unavailable. Ciphers are fun. I wish I had learned more. I just kind of know the thought process of doing a cipher. Um, we did a lot of riddles where it's like, you know, you have who's like basically who's telling the lie. And that guy's going to fuck me up. Where you, oh, he almost hit me. Where you do like... Uh, you know, this person says this, and this person says this. Which one's lying? One of them's telling the truth. And if this person says this, wh where are the contradictions? And where did the murder happen? So we did a lot of that. What else did we do? We did uh, egg drops. We did uh, biological experiments. We fucking kept a potato in a bag for six months. And it became a biohazard. Um... The teacher did this, and it became a biohazard, and we had to have hazmat remove it. Uh, maybe a little overkill, but maybe not. It was pretty hilarious. Um, I mean, I hate mold and whatever. It it terrifies. It actually, like, terrifies me. But um, I thought that was really funny. <laughs> um, I remember reading The Time Traveler. That was one of the books. I think that's what it's called. One of the first, like, time machine books. And then we read 
something called like Triton or something. I barely remember anything about those books. I just remember there's these war. I don't know if it's War of the Worlds, but these three-legged like alien machines or something. I can't really remember anything about that book. Um, don't know what else we read in that class. It was called. I don't know what it was called. It wasn't accelerated learning because it was called ELP. Maybe it was extended learning program, but they took us out of class um, like three times a week and we went there and we partied. Um, <laughs> we got pretzels at the end of the day, these long boy pretzels. That was a happy day for me. I always wanted the pretzels. Um... I'm trying to remember what else we did. I remember my first speech was something on like All Hallows Eve. It was like sort of a religious thing I did. Which is interesting. But um Well, cool. now I have no idea where I'm going. Oh It's kind of a blur. That was like what, fifteen years ago? It's kind of a blur to me. Yeah, around fifteen years ago. What else did we do in that class? You know, I used to go to school in Arizona. And some of you, I don't know if this is a common thing elsewhere, but at my school, because it doesn't rain in the part of, or it doesn't, it doesn't rain. It doesn't snow in the part of uh, Arizona I was in. I wasn't in like Flagstaff. And they, uh, you're a fucking barbershop quartet. That was pretty sick. Um, I do not know how to get back home. Oh, there it is. But anyway, um, what was I saying? I got distracted by that barbershop quartet. Oh, um, I don't know if they do this other places, but they literally brought in a full semi of artificially made snow and we had a snow day uh and we'd all play in the snow i i have family that lives in minnesota so i've already experienced the snow but um i'm sure for a lot of people that was pretty amazing it was a cool day for me as well because it's like snow in arizona that's fucking whack son that's how i talked back then they said fucking whack son Okay, so um, now I need to, I guess I'll take this. I need to get more emeralds to buy, or to level up that one dude. No, I don't. I need to make brewing stands. And encourage these fucks to have children. Have children, please. But I should have one guy that is unemployed, that has just become an adult. Or that's the guy that just became a cleric. But I think I... Both of them sell scouts now? Or did I not get the other one up fully? Why do- how do I have a- oh, that's from the Enderman. Then I need the diamond armor to repair all this. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Get that. Take that off. Let's see, are you... Okay, so you're the new dude who I don't know. Do I even need to make a brewing stand? That is the question, and you are the answer. Son? Shit, am I out of sand? I really don't want to get more sand, dude. I 
I know I took some to the, uh... The nether, because that is a very useful block to have, as you saw me using it to put those banners up. And to put blocks below my sight level. So I have made progress so far. We have blaze rods here. So at least I can say I ended this screen, stream ahead of where I was. And if I do anything off stream, which I probably won't by Wednesday, but if I do anything off stream, I might just be sitting in the nether waiting for wither skeletons. Because it looks like it's going to take a long ass time. I'll probably look up ways to farm them, but I bout, doubt I can do anything without placing blocks down. So this kind of sucks. There is a... You can have a charged creeper blow it up, and that will... Uh, that will 100% give you a wither head, but as you would suspect, that would probably be even harder to do on... That'd be... Even on vanilla, that would be fucking the hardest thing to ever do. So I need diamond armor to repair those, but really I need to... Okay, you're not the one. You are. Hello, sir. There's no specific reason. Oh, there is a reason why I'm getting lapis lazuli. 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 Um, it's the most cost effective for, um, the price. And then the gold glowstone just because I'm lazy. Yes! Ah, oh, fine. Good, 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 good. Okay. Excellent. So I don't need to make more brewing stands. And I probably have enough of these. So, let's head towards the stronghold. Let's figure out where that shit is. It's going to be a little tricky because I won't be able to see where it is, but... Let's just see what we're working with here. Why do I have so much rotten flesh? Oh, I got that from the pigment, I guess. Cool. But, um, glowstone and lapis lazuli is useless to me. There is no... It gives no advantage to me. I definitely don't want to have this sword with me. That is too precious. Let's do this, and let's do that. And maybe, I don't know. Like I said, I want to spend less time doing stuff off stream, and spend that time I have been doing off stream to do um, video editing. Let's get those later. Okay. Please don't go directly behind me. I knew this was going to be annoying. And it fucking went- sunk to the bottom of the fucking sea, didn't it? Where is it? Or did it crack? That way. Fuck did it go? Oh, I picked it up. So 
so the other one's shattered. Okay. I will go this way then. I didn't throw it. This kind of helps. Going underwater. Or I'm imagining it. So, I remember saying before that I would prefer if it was in the middle of the ocean. No, I wouldn't. Um, because I can't explode stuff down there. I don't think I could. Uh... I would have to have a shit ton of sand, and I don't know if I could actually do it with these limitations. So hopefully it's not in the ocean. It looks like it's going to be in the ocean. That is not good. Of course, I can just not go in the ocean. This isn't a stronghold, right? Better not be. I mean, really, that doesn't mean I lost that much time, because... It can't be a stronghold, that's gotta be some other shit. Um, because I still need to be in the nether to get wither skulls, but... That way... We're pretty close already? Wow, it really went all the way to the fucking bottom. What- what a gravity. And was it this way? I fucking forgot now. Oh, it's really deep down there. Where is this? That way. I don't know if it shattered or doesn't matter. I think it was this way. I really hope it's not in the ocean because I don't know what I'm going to do if it is. Unless I can enter it like it as in it's open. If it's like above, you know, <laughs> if it is excavated outside and I can just mine in, then that's great. But if I have to go under the ground to get it and blow shit up, that might not be possible. I don't really know how I do that. Some suspicious structure right there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Still going this way. really goes all the way down. Why? Where is it? I will now die. I have eaten an entire loaf of raisin bread. I will now pass away. I'm just happy I'm a little bit further. I'm not happy that it looks like the wither skeleton farming is going to take fucking millions of years. I wonder, I don't, I think looting three is the maximum I can have. Oh, it doesn't look like it'll be on land, dude.
What is that? What is this huge thing? That's not it, is it? Please be it. That can't be it. Yeah. Please fuck off. I know how that bastard got there. You know, technically I don't have to beat the wither to beat the game. But I'm also not a pussy. <sighs> it's tragic being this good at games being this, this amazing. Takes a lot, takes a man to accomplish what I do. What does that mean? I'm your ice cream man. Well, I guess that's the name of the song. What does that mean, though? Which, fuck, I clicked some buttons. I think this is the right way. Might as well stay on the water for as long as I can. I want some ice cream. All the ice cream st stores around me suck the big ass. Okay, I don't know if I went the wrong direction, or if I'm getting close. It's a drowned right there. Okay, let's test right here. Oh, getting close. I don't like that. Please be on this island. It's gonna be in the fucking ocean, isn't it? No, dude. Okay, this might be fine. Maybe. Hey, hey, there's iron here. Yo, what up? Fancy meeting you here, babe. Um, it's inside there. That is excellent. That is very good. That means, okay, this, this might be good. I might be able to get in there right now. I'm not gonna, like, stay in there. Um. That's not how you spell that word at all. I just tried to spell. Okay, it's almost day, so why don't we 
wait. Maybe I'm low enough where I can crawl in from right there and I won't need any TNT, which would save so much time. Like, so much time, dude. It'll be annoying to get in there, but... Better than farming for a couple of hours, uh, creepers. Really, I could kill those things? Just not. Let's go over there, here to despawn them. Okay, this is not the worst, I don't think. I mean, we'll see, but, uh... It's looking alright so far. What's this enchanted with? Sharpness 2. Okay, yeah, let's go check this place out. Maybe... Maybe it won't be so bad, I hope. It would just like a break in this fucking game. Is this where I was? Is it not this island? Oh, it is this island. Okay, good. So it's like right in the middle there. So if I needed to, I could uh, blow it up, it looks like. Okay, let's go as low as we can go. Oh, that is stone. While I'm in the water, and more powerful. Let's see if I can make an air pocket down here. This still works, right? Okay. What about doors? That's not good for me, but good for the game that they, uh, fix that. I don't think they fix doors, though. Swords still break stuff faster, right? That's a, that's a mechanic that still exists, right? That's what I thought. Ooh, three doors! Nice. Forgot about that. See, this is when you use, your, you use, uh, rotten flesh in no danger, and you're just trying to heal gradually. Save that chicken for later. Just trying to break through right there, I think. Nice. Oh, he's still gonna have the problem. Usually have. It's gonna take a while. 
Oh, did that just go somewhere? That just hit an air pocket. Oh no, it's just hitting air pocket here. Get me out of this hell. So now, because of the way mining works in this fucking run, um, can I get down and go a little bit further in here? But I, I have to go up now. I have no choice. I can go a little farther here. Try to get the most you can. Back up. And mine these, mine the next level of blocks. Just because we're underwater, it's not going to be that fun. That was weird. Hard to tell when I'm actually in water and when I'm not. I can go through here a little bit. Thing. Up. Okay, so that means I need to go even farther through here. Am I going to be able to do this, I just realized? Might not have enough water. I'm in a feeling I'm not I'm gonna be too far from this angle. Keep going. I don't know how I'm like floating right here. Oh. Ooh, if I can Oh I forgot I can do this. This might allow me, allows me, this will allow me to go actually pretty far if I keep doing that. I'm only able to do that, I think, because I have a diamond pickaxe. Um, most of the other pickaxes aren't able to get to that speed. Whenever I get some coal, might as well make a torch in here. Should have brought that glowstone. That's not what I need. So I need one step up, I can probably do. The mechanics of this mining are very interesting, but it is not fun at all. Intensely aggravating. Me into this pocket.
Is this a boy band I'm listening to? It sounds like in sync, I think. What is attacking me? Hello? You fucking cock with a fishing rod. Oh gosh, that scared me. I was like, wh I thought I went back to spawn. Might as well go directly there. Um, I could s stop by here. Do I have anything here I could use down there? Some light would be nice. right because I didn't sleep back there. Take that torch. Well now this is 3,000 blocks away, so a bit annoying, but um, the sun's going down so I might as well sleep. Uh progress. I just have to remember I made progress today. Hopefully I can make it. In the very least, um, I won't need as much TNT. Because uh, I already have dug a small way down. So... That's fine. This is a pretty good place for it to respond. The best would have been if, you know, you could actually see it. But I'm not gonna... Unless I find that I can't get into this one. Um, I'm not gonna go and search for one that's like that. This one should be fine. Which is good. So we need to get to negative 1350, which is 3,000 blocks from here. Fun. Uh, almost 4,000, I think, if I'm doing my math correctly. Uh, another relaxing day on Minecraft. getting excited for that uh, Horizon Zero Dawn run. Hopefully it isn't gut-wrenchingly hard. I'm going to be doing it on a difficulty that's higher than what I'm playing at now. Because right now I'm playing on very hard. And the next difficulty is ultra hard, which is a huge difference. Um, because like everything costs twice as much and you don't get as much resources. So it's kind of just like a pain in the ass. Um, I don't know if I'll have the stomach to do it, but it doesn't matter too much because I just need to make it, just make sure it's possible. But I also don't want to pussy out, you know? Maybe I'll just do, oh, but then, uh, but then people are going to call me a pussy. They're gonna call me a casual.
Because very hard doesn't have the resource problem. The resource problem means a lot of fucking just farming for resources. And I do I do I want to waste my life doing that? It's a big question. Anyway, expect new video within a month and a half. That sounds like a pretty good timeline. I'm actually going to work hard to get it way ahead of schedule. Um, we'll see. I might not make music for this one. I might use the Code Vein music, which shouldn't get me in trouble. If it does, that's stupid. When I'm using that music for the game that I'm playing... But, um, but I also hate the Code Vein music, so who knows. Um, for the Pokemon video, I'm definitely going to be making my own music. I very much enjoyed remixing some of those songs, even if it kind of takes a long time. Um, it's, it's an enjoyable experience. Um, this is, I like this mountain. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do for the Minecraft ones. Maybe I'll just remix stuff, but put the Minecraft note block sound font. That probably exists somewhere. Ah, and, um, yeah. Excited for the Smash video, but it's going to take a lot of going through footage because I didn't write good notes. But also, that video, I can cut out a lot of that already because, you know, I don't need to keep any of the fights because who the fuck cares? I do have some, like, special notes written down for, like, some funny stuff that happened in the fights. But, like, mostly the fights did not matter at all. It's just those three or four stages. Um, but yeah. It's kind of good when a challenge takes me longer because that means there's more time to work on a video and get that done and I don't get too far behind. But also, it's not fun when the challenge takes me fucking forever because I have to farm stupid shit. Which is not fun or interesting at all to anyone. But that's why streaming it is a lot more fun because I get to talk to people. So that's more enjoyable. And the music helps it go by. Hope I don't fucking die again. I don't want to go all this way. I hope that guy isn't there too. I don't. That happened once before. They didn't despawn. The drowned. Maybe it's because he was holding a trident. But. Oh, that makes me nervous. 1500 blocks to go. You know, when I was in school, they said we couldn't say that word. We couldn't say numbers like that. We had to say 1,500, and it wasn't until very, very late in my life, like, when I was around my 20s, my 20, when I was 20, excuse me, that I started using the other 3,500, 1,500, instead of 3,500, um, it feels nicer that way. Uh, don't cuck me here. Oh, I'm going the wrong way anyway. So, two things happened in the stream. That is in the positive direction that I haven't already done before, really. Blaze Rods, or we have Eyes of Ender, discovered the Stronghold. And, yeah, I don't have to do the Enderman farming. Because that Cleric now sells ender pearls so that's really nice i have more than enough blaze rods unless i catastrophically fail 
if there's like a silverfish explosion and I'm not able to get into the uh, into the uh, the ender portal frame for some reason. Really hoping I can do that ender portal frame. It's gonna take me a long time to figure it out. Um, which makes me nervous when everything there is trying to kill me. Maybe I should light it up a lot. Um, to prevent some spawning, but it's the silverfish, man. They're gonna eat it away, and it's like... How am I gonna fucking place blocks to get over there? I guess I could jump down and sacrifice myself every time, but... Oh, I hope that doesn't get soft locked. I mean, I could just find another stronghold, but of course that would be a gigantic fucking pain. To access for this. I was in with the store with you. True. Then by the time the Horizon Zero Dawn challenge is done, I might have my new computer and the Dark Souls runs will begin. Um, but I'll probably almost certainly space it out with other challenge runs. Hopefully I come out with more ideas, but or come up with more ideas. Um, because I don't want to just be playing Dark Souls all the time. But, I am so... My friend was like, Andy, you do not need to worry. But I am just so scared that someone are, someone's going to take my Calamite and my Seath and my Manus away from me. I want those so bad. I want to have those titles. Just I I, I want to be the first. I want to be the dude that does those those challenges. Because the All Gwyn challenge is not even the hardest one. But I already have strategies. The All Gwyn challenge taught me so much. I know so much. I know how to do things. So. Um. Oh man. This way a lot. I know so many strategies that apply to everything. And I've already cooked up strategies for Manus and whatever, the other two dragons. Makes it sound like Manus is a dragon. Um, still need to look up or have my friend figure out what builds I need to use for those. Cause I'm kind of stupid with that. And I also, the routing is, I'm not the best at that. Really wish it wasn't night. Is there any sheep here I can slaughter for bed? Please. I, I would really like not to have to deal with the drowned. You're not you're not a sheep, dude. This is ex extremely annoying. So it would have been better if I didn't sleep before. Oh gosh, look at all those shits there. That is so unfortunate. Okay, um... Might as well get over there. Oh shit, I passed it. I don't want that stuff to despawn. It's a diamond pickaxe there, a diamond shovel. There's the island. Holy shit, this exploded far. Those ender eyes.
main things were got. Have the things I want. That was dangerous. <sighs> Is there anything else I'm missing that was vitally important? Maybe a clock? I think I can get a clock pretty easily, though. Ugh, that's annoying. Night just started. Cool. Well, I got my stuff back at least. If there's any sheep? The fuck was that? I took like... That was a fucking dude with a trident again? I- I- Why is sp stuff allowed to spawn? Underwater. Hate it. What? It's gotta be a dude with a trident. Cause that- it did like fucking four damage to me. What else could it be? What else would hit that fucking hard? It's disgusting. Yes. I guess I'll just fuck around over here. Really, this I this doesn't matter. You can use dried kelp blocks to get uh to get emeralds, but it takes way too long, and it's just not gonna be efficient. I think. I don't know how I feel about the coral fields. Like, yeah, it's like pretty and everything, but like, kind of sucks that they just die <laughs> when you get them without a silk touch. There should be like some rare fishies here you need to get like some rare enchantments or some cool shit. Maybe there is, I don't know. I know there's no rare enchantments or anything, but there's... Oh, they added some fish. Oops. I guess it's something though, because the ocean used to be just boring without... Just used to be dirt, flat, and lifeless. Now it's full of the fucking drowned? And I hate it even more. So nice job, Mojang. Uh. <sighs> Just gotta wait till day. Wait till day. Like a fucking idiot. Should have gotten a bed. I think I could have gotten a bed. I think I am done listening to this. I'm not really a fan. Oh, naked woman, right when I just picked this up. 
It's what I like to see. Hell yeah. Oh, there was one song called Vibin'. I want to be vibin'. This is pretty vibin' though. You know, in the jazz community, vibin' means like three different things. It can mean like, and you just have to kind of know the person if you're online. Or you have to... Oh, hold on. Father is texting me. Okay, now it is almost day. Let's fucking see if I can get into that fortress. It would be very nice if I could get into the fortress. It would be wonderful. the fuck are you doing here? Piss off. It has a sword, too. Give me that. Who the fuck do you think you are? There's probably sh little shits down in my... my... cave now. Minecraft character can really not hold his breath that long. There, now no idiots will spawn down here. I need to destroy that one block. I can go one more level. Didn't want to do that. So. I love that because everything's oriented this way. I have more chance of just hitting these torches. far below the ground is this fucking thing? Holy fuck, those trumpets were insane. That was pretty fucking poppin', actually. Where's this go? Up. Okay, still hope. This is the right fucking island, right? It's gotta be, right? I better make sure. Better make absolutely sure. Get this? No. Please fuck off. They're just going straight down. They are. 
It's really like right down there. Which I haven't gotten that far yet. So that's fine. So it's probably faster to go here. And you have to have like a good memory to play this run. Because you, you gotta remember where shit is without looking around for it. Might fuck some shit up. I could have avoided that if I was smart. Could have gotten soft locked right there. Make sure that not does not happen. Could have gotten blocked by a two block, two tall high wall. Ah, 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 ah! It was actually very close. blocks. is fucking me up. There we go. That's interesting that that works like that. Where those things are going? Are they going up still? Where am I right now? Thirteen eighty-two four seven zero one. And then what is it up there? Probably turning night soon. I should probably get a bed. Oh, wait. So they're saying it's they. The Ender Eyes are saying it is right. Oh, I just have to dig a little longer. A little farther. Maybe one more level will do it. Then I get to where those ender eyes are popping out. I hope I can get there before night comes. The issue is kind of running out of locks to jump up to this. Oops. I might have just solved that problem. Get 
get this block. Hey, okay. might be able to do this. Boom. It's getting dark. Shit. It should be like right here, so that means it's under me. Let's make sure I have the horizontal distance right. 1385, 4697. In the very least, I have saved, oops. I have saved myself some TNT gathering. The knights now? Oh, good. I'm like, exactly. It's right under me. Fuck. <sighs> Shoot, so I'm gonna have to get TNT. Maybe I only need one or two or three. I did, I do have enough for one right now. Of course, I could just fucking spawn creepers down here and blow it up that way, but that'd be terrible. Ah, uh, okay. Unfortunate. But I'm gonna go back home. Take this boat with me. No! No! Fuck off. I hate everything. That's not what I meant to do. Definitely need more eyes of Ender. Um, but yeah, uh, same stream on Wednesday. I will be a trained ballot, uh, public judge. <laughs> I guess I have one more, I have one more day of training for something extra, but I will be ready and trained for that job and I will be $200 richer in the future when they give me my paycheck but um i got farther at least i have fucking uh it's gonna be so much farming it's gonna be a lot of farming of gunpowder which i believe i can only get through creepers i mean the wandering tra trader he only sells eight and he doesn't really spawn that often and every time he spawns it's not guaranteed that he has the 
the gunpowder. But I just can't. I mean, what else can I do? Creepers? No. Um... I also need to find a lead. I don't know if you can make that, but I definitely need one to get golems. Um, but that's assuming I ever get these wither heads in the three million years it takes. But, uh, sorry if this was not the most interesting stream. As always. That's how it be. I want to get out of here. But I did make progress, which is good. Stronghold found. It's it's decent. It's not the worst thing in the world. Let's see if we can actually beat the game. Who knows if I can actually put down these ender eyes into the portal. That's the big question. Um, so what will I be doing next stream? Next stream I will be... What will I be doing? I'll be fucking getting sand. Or no, I'll be killing creepers, I guess. I mean, I can... Probably won't be that hard. I probably don't need to build anything. I can just go out and hunt. I got that blast protection, which is good. Um, I do need sand because I do need to heal the other, or repair the other diamond armor I have. Which that, that wood kind of disappeared pretty quickly because I had to build, um... I used it for coal, and then I had to build the ch the ladders and boats. So that did not last as long as I thought, but there's still more of that forest there I can chop down. Once again, I do a fucking loop and somehow lose direction. But yeah, um, I'm gonna try and work a lot more on those videos, on the video. Um, I sent out actually a lot of applications recently, so hopefully someone picks me up. Nothing that I'm particularly interested in, but that's the way it be. I kind of have to give up trying to get into a job that I'm interested in. I just don't have... It's been apparent that I don't have the luxury of that. Especially since I don't really want to pursue my master's anymore. Or, well, I was pursuing my PhD. Uh, master's PhD accelerated program. So why would I not do that and save money and time? But yeah, skipped wither farming, which is nice. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> I was like, what in the fuck is that? I was like, is that a stronghold? No, I was digging sand over here once. Which, I'm going to take this bed. <laughs> I was like... I was like, is that an above ground str stronghold? Oh, I went hard over there. I, uh... It was a really good spot to farm sand, I remember. Man, I wish I could tell you I was cheating, because <laughs> it would have taken fucking, it would have, I could have farmed all this sand so much quicker if I wasn't doing this fucking dumbass run, and I had no integrity. But I am definitely staying to the rules at all times, and it sucks. The luck turned, oh gosh, it is disgusting. I only have a minute of that footage, actually, I just didn't record it because I knew... I wouldn't really use it, but I recorded a minute of it just to show that that's what I was doing. But it took like three or four hours of the same motions, and then they kept getting in my way, and I'd hit them, and eventually the fucking iron golems came after me, and it was hell. It was so bad. 
It was... It was so sad. Okay, I should not have to wait that long, right? For day. But yeah, um, I'm gonna end it here. There's the sun, it's underwater. I'm just going to... Just, just rest in this bed. And I do have, uh, the plus side of this that I just did, I have more stone for the wither, um, arena that I'm going to build. Which hopefully I can make much tougher than the last one that actually broke at the very end and scared the shit out of me. Um, but that part is going to be very, way harder than the previous time in terms of building the thing, because I don't know how I'm going to build it. Um, scaffolding would be great. I really... Maybe I can kill some spiders. I really don't need that much scaffolding, because I can just break it down and use it again. So that might be the way to do it. Let me think in my head. Let's see, I do... I get the bottom block somehow. So it's kind of, kind of, it's kind of have to, kind of has to be in the air to get the bottom block, so I can actually place those blocks. And then, yeah, the bottom of it is the hardest part. So then you put that block there. Oh gosh, it's difficult. I'm probably gonna make it in this ocean. I think I have to. So that's gonna be a whole thing. Oh, in the ocean I can go down to one block because I can swim, which will be very useful. But it's just, you know, if I place all these blocks here, so if I, I'll give you an example. Let me show you the, pr the main problem with this. Say I make, let's say this is the bottom floor, or th I should say the floor. Sure. Uh, let's go one I, I can't, I can't reach. I can't do, I cannot reach over there. So that's why I have to build it all, like, kind of vertically, I think, first. That's where, ooh, um, that's where the scaffolding is going to help. Um, but I will see all you guys later. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on Wednesday, same time. See ya.